welcome back. We are in part four of the Illusion of Gaia Let's Play, the first ever series chosen by the Wheel of Fun. And in the last uh, last time, we went through our first dungeon, as I like to call them, and it was cool. We got to collect some DP, we got to change into Frieden, and we met Lily, who is a flower spirit. So, now we're going to talk to Kara, and we're going to escape from the castle. And here's that guard. Oh, he's sleeping. There you are. Now let's do this. Of course you'd come. Thank you. Oh, and here's where you learn his nickname. He's called Old Snorehead. <laughs> what a noob. Your little pig has come. His name is Hamlet. Cute, isn't he? Oops, sorry about that. So, now you got to take her out. But before we leave, we have to grab some food from the basement. And that's exactly what we do. I think she reminds you to do it, but I, I know to do it anyway. So, we go down here and get a nice fanfare from finding this. Da, da, da. Now, where do you see what you find? A large, yummy, roast leg of yak. Oh, wait a minute. Well, at least it's not snail pie. <laughs> Everything's ready. If you try to leave the castle without getting this, she she tells you we we're not ready yet. And you gotta kind of you can spend hours in this castle trying to figure out what the heck to do, but that's it. At last we leave. Let's go to your house. I'm worried about your grandparents. Hurry to Will's. So here we go. We're going to Will's from the castle. It's funny. It was nighttime in the castle, but it's it's uh. The, the implication is that it's daytime on the map all the time. But then again, the map is just for aesthetics. It doesn't reflect the time of day. That's all right. Super Nintendo for you. Oh, my goodness. What happened here? They ransacked the place. Must have been the king. Because he said go to the house and find it. And they, pro they trashed the place looking for the ring. And the grandparents are gone. And then, of course, Kara finds this symbol on the wall. It's terrible, it's terrible. What is it? Look at the wall. It's a mark. A jackal. The jackal's here. A jackal. That's the guy that that the queen hired, which you meet later on. He's, he's kind of nasty, but, you know, that's later. It's actually at the end of the game. He has no regard for human life. And here's Lily. Now we see the the battle of women. Get a little personality going on. Don't worry, you two. You're the one who... Who are you? I'm, I'm Will's friend. Lily, do you know anything about this? It's okay. Your grandma and grandpa are safe. They're in my village. So they were saved. The house was ruined. It's village. And they never heard of the village because it has a barrier around it to make it invisible. So now it's time to go to Ittery Village. This is far too dangerous for a princess. You can't stop royalty. I'll do whatever I want. Blah, blah, blah. Typical of a princess. <laughs> However, before we leave, we should really get that red jewel from the fisherman. And it's just important to do that, because if you don't get it now, you'd never get a chance to do it again. So there that idiot is sitting over there. And hopefully after a few, uh, and they're, they're still sitting there playing cards. It must have been two days they're sitting there. So we're going to try to get this guy to show up on the dock. May take a few tries, and I, I will probably skip uh, the video until I get him. Okay, so there he is. Uh, there have been volumes written on this game, and this is one of the most obnoxious red jewels in the whole game. Because it's random when this guy sits here. Uh, you have to actually search the pot to get it. And there we are. But sometimes you get it on the first try. Sometimes it can take over a hundred in and outs to get him. But we got it. It only took me about 30 that time. And, I, and that was with what I already did, and I cut out. Okay, this is Eric's. I believe this is the house where the other one is in. You gotta go down into the basement of the place. It doesn't have a basement. 
Is it Eric's house? No. Edward's house. No, that's the king. It's a big house, though. He's got a, a pretty big-sized mansion. Maybe it's Lance's house. Yeah, this is the one with the basement. You go down here, you search the pot. Boom, red jewel. So now the red jewels in South Cape, of which there are three, have all been collected. And the guy in the school, uh, who was up on the roof that I never talked to, he is... Oh, wait, maybe it's this dude. His name is Jim. No, that's not the guy. The guy's name is Jim, and he, he's a wandering, traveling salesman. But he's the one you redeem the red jewels to, because they take up inventory space. But that's not it either. Where, where the heck is he? Ah, here we go. This is Jim right here. I am the jeweler Jim. I control the seven seas, which means he's, you know... Big, big on trade. So I want to give you the red jewels. I have four or five. No, seven. You've collected three or more jewels. According to the list, you get the herb. You receive the herb. You've collected over five jewels. According to the list, your defense power will be raised. Excellent. Now, when you see your inventory, uh, here's the list. And at eight, you get the life force. Twelve is more strength. Twenty is a power. Uh, the psycho power, which is important. 30 is a dark power, and then when you get all 50, it's my secrets, which is a really, really, really hard uh, level with an extremely, one of the hardest bosses I've ever fought in any game. And that's at the end of the series. After this game is completed, we'll do the secret level and just see how badly I can fail. Because it's tough. I mean, the, the <coughs> sorry, the the... The boss at the end of that level. The level is hard the way it is, and it's really weird, but the boss is just ridiculous. So, so uh, see you later, Jim. All right, now we're ready to go. So let's go to Italy Village and find out what what's going on with these this Inca ruins and mystic statues and all that. You ready to go? Yeah, we're ready. She says, I think everybody's been wonderful. Lily's down in her, and then they get into a little tiff. You're nitpicking. That's what I've expected. Have you ever been outside the castle? Crazy girl. Are you totally ignorant of the world? Well, is this, this is my friend, understand? <coughs> and now they're fighting over you. You're my friend, too. Uh, sure. I'm glad. Let's go hand in hand. So apparently she likes you. But, you know, what are you going to do? And now we're leaving South Cape. We are going past the castle very fast. And we are to Italy Village. And the song that I learned from Grandma is going to come in handy. Because as you can see, there's nothing here. You're probably surprised there are no houses. Try paying that melody. Where are you going? I tried to move and it, it won't let you. You have to equip the song. And then uh, play it. You get to hear this pretty little tune again on the purple flute. Now, you don't see any of the other town. You just see this first shot of it. And it's like, whoa, is it empty? I can't really tell. But but yes, when, when he stops playing the song, you get to realize that, yes, there was a lot missing. This is an empty landscape. The melody carried on the wind spread over the meadow. Ah, I see. It even made the plants and the rocks and trees appear. Are you surprised? The barrier on the village, most people can't see it. This princess... The princess is getting to be a bother. On the road, all I hear is, My feet hurt. I'm thirsty. I can't help it. My feet hurt. <laughs> well, have a seat. Cool thing about this, this place, too, is that it's got these ramps, which you, you use a lot later on in the game. And the ramps... Um, and there's Grandma and Grandpa. You're safe. A terrible thing happened. The jackal came to the house. He almost got us, but Lily saved him. I destroyed their digestion with a poison marsupial pie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then I ran away. <laughs> he made them eat pie. <laughs> this pie thing, man. I keep saying it's not the end, but I can't remember all the dialogue. It's just... Oh, boy. It's funny. 
Always with the pie. Four, four parts in and the pie is still rocking. So anyway, these ramps, if you run down them but a dash, you can, uh, you can jump over the, 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 the uh, ground. Because if you tap the forward button, you can dash like this. So the first stop is to go up here to the dock space and save the game. And, ooh, what's this? Looks like I get my first dark power. And that is the dash. Psycho dash. I'm sorry. Psycho dash is cool. Because it lets you run fast enough that you can actually break walls. Obviously walls that could be broken. Smash walls and obstacles by hurling yourself against them. So certain obstacles can be... Uh, can be used, uh, can be destroyed with this now. It's very useful. It looks like you're hurt. Close your eyes. Willpower second action. Can destroy obstacles. Always be alert. If you find a suspicious place, try to destroy it. A suspicious place that he talks about. That is any place where your hair blows in the wind. If there's no wind, because in this game, Will's hair actually blows in the wind. You can And his clothing. You can see it moving clearly right there. Uh, when you are inside a room where there is no air, here we go. Whee! Yeah, the wind will not blow. You've come, Will. Interesting. Uh, so when you see the wind blowing inside a space where there's no wind, that's how you know that there's something that needs to be destroyed. And here comes our first epic solemn music. Now, this room has no wind, clearly. But, if you go up to the wall here, Maybe it's over here. No? Let's see. Uh, I believe you get to break the wall here. Yeah. There you go. This, this time the wind didn't blow. You just have to hit the wall and, you know, it opens up. Oh, hello. Interesting. What did I get? You found Incan Statue A. All right. I hope there's not the whole alphabet's worth. No, there isn't. There's only two of them. And you use them in the second uh, dungeon, which is actually your first major dungeon that you were questing for a mystic statue. And that's all that room is for. So let's go back up the ladder here. And what's this? Some flashing spirit thing. Elder, oh, that's the Incan statue. Good job. I wonder if you were put on this earth to solve the Incan riddle. I'll tell you a legend handed down by our people, and this is where you learn about the uh, the star in the sky. Put the statue on the Lari cliff below the ruins where the spirit's breath cannot reach. Oh, how poetic. The winds in the valley will lead you to the gold ship, and the gold ship is cool. That really makes the story uh, unfold. Yes, I understand. The Moon Tribe has one more. Have Lily guide you there. Be careful. So we gotta go see the Moon Tribe. Whoa! That was a major jump. So now we have the Incan statue. We get to go talk to Lily now. She complains more about Kara's feet. What Moon Tribe? Not a tribe. More like a strange shadow form. A high mountain peak near there becomes their home. Let's go. Yeah, you gotta get the statue. And of course, Kara is, uh, wants to go to. She wants to see and hear everything. It's too dangerous. Which really, of course, <coughs> uh, sh she just, you know, doesn't want her to hear anymore. So she goes talk to Grandma and Grandpa. And the mountain pass will be difficult. Let's go. So we're going to go see the Moon Tribe now. And we're probably going to actually talk to the Moon Tribe in the next episode here. But uh, I'll at least get us there. The Moon Tribe Camp. Alright, so this is the home of the Moon Tribe. And basically, when you go up those stairs, the Moon Tribe appears and you can talk to them. But you have to go in this room of trials to quest for the other Incan statue. And we're going to do that in part 5 of this uh, series. And I thank you guys for watching. <coughs> and uh, I'll see you then. Sweetness.